Welcome to Live Well Talk on The Mailbag. The Mailbag is a new segment on the podcast where I'll periodically answer questions from listeners. Uh, they can be on various medical topics. We've had recent mailbags on the end of the COVID-19 update, and they've been directed more to COVID-19. But today we have our first standalone edition of the mailbag. We'll answer some general medical questions unrelated to COVID-19. Uh, the questions I'll address today go all the way from uh, treatment for varicose veins to uh, uh, what the influenza season is going to look like. Uh, the first question from Mary, can you explain some of the new vein and leg treatments that are available for those of us who have varicose veins, spider veins, or other leg issues? Yeah, it, um, we saw this when I used to work out of the wound clinic for with like leg ulcers. And what happens is the veins do lose the ability to move the blood back to the central circulation. Uh, and so either interventional radiology, uh, vascular surgeons, uh, and cardiology, can uh, either using laser or uh, heat can uh, take the veins that aren't working appropriately out of out of use, and so then that allows the blood to return to the central uh, circulation. Uh, it's an outpatient procedure, uh, and patients tolerate quite well. You do have to wear some compression devices uh, past the procedure for a while, I believe. Uh, they, they I believe they also sp spider veins they can inject with a, a sclerosing agent. I believe it's some sort of uh, alcohol. Um, but the efficacy uh, of that is actually reasonable. Uh, but to treat the underlying problem is the venous disease is the fact the veins have lost their ability to uh, work appropriately and transport blood back to the central circulation, which actually is a passive. Um, um, passive mechanism by walking uh, and, and um, the muscles contract and that moves the blood in the veins back to the central circulation. Uh, if you do have varicose veins or uh, swelling of your leg, it is, it is, it is a must to uh, wear compression uh, stockings and you should discuss that with your primary care clinician uh, on what stockings would be appropriate, what compression would be appropriate for you. Our next question is from Jan. I need to find pain management clinic to help me deal with a rare syndrome. It's called Bernie Mouth Syndrome. I've been treated at a non point health clinic and still have severe pain. I have no quality of life and brain just gets worse by the day. Do you have any suggestions? I've actually seen a couple of patients and this is this is really a, a painful condition and it is quite disabling for the patient. Um, it's essentially a peripheral neuropathy like diabetics getting in their feet, but it's of the hypoglossal nerve, uh, cranial nerve eight. Uh, and they, it, 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 the mouth burns and it's painful. Um, I think the best opportunity to treat this because it's a chronic condition uh, is to meet with Dr. Tallman and his crew of uh, uh, experts that work from a pain psychology standpoint, and they, they can teach uh, modalities beyond pharmaceutical to help uh, manage this chronic pain. Uh, elimination of the pain, I, I do not have a treatment plan for that, and there's not treatment that's very uh, successful. But I think meeting with Dr. Tallman and his uh, pain management team, chronic pain management team, would be uh, very successful uh, and help uh, help uh, the patient uh, in this question, Jan, have uh, a good functional capacity. And his phone number is 369-7331 to enroll in the pain, uh, chronic pain psychology uh, clinic. Good question. And the next is from Marcus. What have you seen in the hospital so far regarding influenza? Do you think it will be a bad influenza season this influenza season this year? Um, we had one hospitalization about two weeks ago for influenza B, and this week we've had two cases influenza A. So a slow start to the flu season. It's definitely not an early flu season. Uh, still time to get the flu vaccination. Uh, the sooner the better, but this week would be great if you could get it prior to the Thanksgiving holiday. Uh, I'm not so sure that I don't think it's going to be a bad season, and here's why. Uh, certainly, we'll get some seasonality as it gets colder, more transmission of viruses. That's just expected. Uh, but I think the number of people that are wearing masks and social distancing will decrease some transmission of the influenza virus because I don't think you can compare influenza and COVID. Yes, they're both respiratory viruses, but I think their transmissibility is different. 
and it it, it does appear that uh, the flu or influenza virus does respond better to uh, masking and other mitigation factors that that maybe have not been as uh, successful with COVID. The Southern Hemisphere, which usually has had their flu season, and we usually follow what they had, and they had a mild flu season. So I'm optimistic that this might be a, a mild flu season. Uh, that being said, I cannot stress enough that we don't want to end up with a twin demic of influenza and COVID. So get your flu shot. And that's all for the mailbag today. If you'd like to submit a question in the mailbag, go to unipoint.org backslash mailbag. I'll answer questions about COVID-19, latest technologies, procedures, service lines, new service lines perhaps that are being developed at Unipoint Health, Cedar Rapids, and other medical topics. Please note, however, the mailbag is not a substitute for seeing your primary care clinician uh, or going to an urgent care. And if it is an emergency, uh, and go to the nearest emergency room. Uh, and if that is not a possibility, uh, to call 911. Once again, you can submit your questions to me at unipoint.org backslash mailbag. That's unipoint.org, common spelling mailbag, M-A-I-L-B-A-G. I look forward to hearing from you, our amazing listeners. Uh, this week, there will not be a COVID-19 update with the Thanksgiving holiday. Uh, so have a safe Thanksgiving and enjoy your friends and family and don't eat too much turkey. Thank you for listening to Live Well Talk On. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to subscribe. And if you want to spread the word, please give us a five-star review and tell your family, friends, neighbors, strangers about our podcast. We're available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Pandora, or wherever you get your podcast. Until next time, be well.